All right, shalom. One first and foremost, giving all praise, glory, and honor that's due to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakwadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom to you brothers out there preaching and teaching in the highways and Bibles in sincerity and in truth. Shalom, Baraka Thumb. Uh, some, some breaking news going on out there in Israel. I'll, I'm going to make this quick, but uh, uh, and I'll title this uh, The Least of the Flock Shall Draw Them Out. And I have those precepts queued up, but. Let's take a look, a look at a couple of these headlines that's happened over the, over the past uh, several hours. Now, some of the videos that I saw <laughs> looked crazy and I can't, uh, you know, it's, it's on Twitter or, or X, whatever the hell they're calling it. Um, but, uh, you know, YouTube is not going to allow they're not going to allow us to bring it out. You, they, it, there's probably clips of it on YouTube. But, you know, when we post things, um, you know, it's a problem, you know, and and. and uh, and that's also scriptural, you know, that, that the that the uh, the upright conversation. All right. would be demonized, you know, but uh, it says Hamas claims to capture soldiers, civilians. And uh, I'm going to click on this. This is from the Times. All right. Claims to capture soldiers, civilians. Now, they didn't claim they did. We, we saw the video and, and some of these were female fighters, man. You know, some of these were, uh, um, well, the ones that I saw were females. Okay. And you can tell one of the women, they, they, like the back of her pants, she had soiled her pants. <laughs> you could, you could see in the back, they were, they were horrified, man. And, and everybody's talking about, oh, they're, they're justified, but, but a lot of the wickedness and evil that's been being done over there has been covered up. And even when it's not covered up, they figure out a way to spin it, you know, into a, a way that that that's favorable to them that gets the uh the public on their side you know because this devil really isn't anything unless he can convince you that he's better that he's that he's moral you know he he needs people to believe that he he doesn't have the strength within within himself all right but it says israel on saturday evening confirmed that the hamas terror group had taken Hostages to the Gaza Strip and its massive assault on the country's south amid reports that dozens of people may have been taken and dead, taken dead and alive. All right. <laughs> so it's, it's getting bad out there. All right. And of course, you know, the devil's going to respond and he's going to come over here to America and pull America into it. Like, hey, we need some more money. All right. It says, uh. Hamas surprise attack out of Gaza Strip stuns Israel and leaves dozens dead and fighting. All right. <laughs> so this this has been going on for a long time. And the reason these things become more and more important. This bullshit ad, man. They become more and more uh, important is because. Towards the end, these little conflicts like that, it, it, it's like little sparks. But the sparks are getting closer to the big powder keg, you know. So although these these little scuffles back and forth have always been going on since, you know, basically since 1948, pretty much. All right. But now these sparks are getting closer and closer to the fuse or the or the or the or the, or the powder keg. All right. And. These these are. Uh, these occurrences, these little back and forths, all right, are, are more anxiety inducing, man, because now any little thing can set any little thing off. You know, Israel's in a sensitive position. Iran is in a sensitive position. Everybody's irritated. Ethiopia, they're all spoiled, man. They've all been spoiled by Esau, Edom. All right. And the world is angry. All right. In, in, in a world where Esau is being exposed for 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 uh, uh, keeping the the Ukrainian government open and all of that the shit that it costs to, to keep their government going, at the same time while the government is shut down, their people are starting to see like these people are basically spoiling the American people, man. So called American people, because you're not Americans. All right, you 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 have a biblical ethnicity that you go back to, right? But but that's but that's what we got going on here, man. This is Jeremiah chapter 49. Um, 
Let me see. I'll start at 19. It says, Behold, he shall come up like a lion from the swelling of Jordan against the habitation of the strong. All right. But I will suddenly make him run away from her. And who is and who is a chosen man that I may appoint over her? For who is like me and who will appoint me in the time? And who is that shepherd that will stand before me? They're not standing for 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 uh, the most high over there, man. Because they're not they're not the people. OK. When you read what 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 Tel Aviv is. All right. You, you get an understanding that it's the complete opposite of what the most high would tolerate in his land or tolerate period, man. You know. So how, how, how can that be? And they, they get the, the, the blessings of the most high. All right. But but uh, but 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 they're in the land living wickedly. You know, it says verse 20, the main point, therefore, here, the counsel of the Lord, Jehovah, he that he have taken against Edom. All right. And his purposes that he had purpose against the inhabitants of Teman, all right, which which are mainly uh, we will we will break this down as uh, the modern day Germans, you know, for the most part, you know, because of because of the you know when you look at Germany, they're basically they're basically like the gold standard of e of Esau's engineering of Esau's sciences all right a lot of the uh technologies we have today came out of that area man mainly through the world war ii group which i i can't mention all right but they all came over here in the 1950s after world war ii started nasa started all kind of uh, bio laboratories okay modern day rocket propulsion jet propulsion that all came out of the Temanites, that who we call the Temanites are the so-called Germans, you know. And 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 there and it's not a, a shock that there was a very high concentration, all right, uh, of uh, small hats in this area, all right. They were all throughout Europe, but they were concentrated here. It says, "Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them." Man, and. What does that mean that the flock, the least of the flock shall draw them out? Well, when you read Ezekiel, the 38th chapter. All right. I'll go to it real quick because that's where this is all going to lead to. When you read Joel, the third chapter. All right. It speaks about Armageddon, the valley of decision, everything uh, coming to a head, a point where everybody just just says, fuck it. We're going to war, man. Everybody. <laughs> the Lord is going to put a spirit of war in all of the earth all right world war three in other words you know ezekiel 38 and 3 it says and thus saith the lord jehovah bashim yahashah behold i am against thee o gog chief prince of meshech and tubal all right this is speaking about the the uh the russians or the ruskies or the the, the whatever you want to call them you know they've gone by different names vikings over the over the years you know but they're in that area, all right, of modern day Russia. OK, and it says, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws and I will bring thee forth and all thine army, horses and horsemen. All right. All of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields. All of them handling swords. All right. Persia, Ethiopia, Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet. Gomer and all his bands, the house of Togomar of the north quarters all right and all his bands and many people with thee so that's what it's talking about when it says the least of the flock shall draw them out because they're the smallest country in there but they're causing the most turmoil man look at the size of this place of, of uh, uh of that the land that they have which is in the holy land of israel right but they don't even have all of that. When you look at the size of, of, of Israel compared to the other nations, Iran, I might be able to get a map of it. I'll just grab a map of it. Um, Salakia. Uh, all right. You look at the size of it. 
that's them, all right? <laughs> this is Syria, way bigger. Even Jordan's way bigger. Iraq, Saudi Arabia, you know? And, and the populations are bigger in these other areas as well, too. But this small country, all right, is going to pull everybody into this area to fight, man. Everybody. All right? And that's prophecy, you know? So this thing is, is about to... uh hit a head, man, you know? Let me see if there's any more. I think that's about it. You know, that's, I just wanted to bring that out, man. I look, at, at least 70 early killed, over 900 wounded, dozens. Um, Palestinian militants infiltrate Israel from Gaza by land, sea, and air. All right. Yeah, so yeah, it, it 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 look, we we watching, man. We 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 you know, our mouths are, are drooling so to speak for this shit to pop off, man. We we're, we're tired of this place, man. So, Lord willing, this was edifying. Call hello, you how about shimi how shy. Wa ababa ball inshallah.